Hey, world. Welcome back to Dante's Derivatives. Hey, peoples. Welcome back to my channel, Dante's Derivatives. Today, we're going to be going over more blue team cybersecurity, hence the color of my shirt. And I want to show you guys something called steganography. We're actually going to be analyzing files because I think that there's data hidden inside of these files. And we're going to actually take a look at this data, right? So we're going to be doing something called steganography. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to Blue Team Labs Online, the best Blue Team cybersecurity platform you can find. Let's go. All right, peoples. As I mentioned before, we're on Blue Team Labs Online website, and we're going to be doing the free and easy uh, digital forensics challenge called Sheba Insider. So the first question, or actually, we'll just see what the scenario is first. Can you uncover the insider? It's, it's not much of a scenario. Um, we're just going to pretty much be looking for hidden data inside of files, right? So let's just analyze some data. All right, the challenge submission. First question, what is the response message obtained from the PCAP file? So to answer that, we're going to copy this link. We're going to download the file. So I have Kali Linux running in the background, and I'm going to wget my file. All right, and as you can see, it actually got some type of zip file. So let's go ahead and try and unzip. Let's let's make sure it's actually here first. And now let's unzip it. Okay, I actually skipping, skipping. So we did not get this zip file on our machine. So we're going to have to use 7-zip in that case. So I'll clear the screen because regular unzip doesn't work, as you can see. So we're going to use 7-zip. So you type 7-z-x for extract, and then we're going to give it the file you want to um, extract from. So this password here, let's see if there's a password on their website. Okay, so there's no password on their website. So let's see how we get in here. Is it B-T-L-O? That's usually the password. That looks like it worked. Okay, so files, two of them. Let's clear the screen. LS to see what's inside of this directory now. And we have another zip file. And we have insider.pcap. So I'm going to actually remove this zip file because we don't need it anymore. And now we're only working with the data we need. Okay, so immediately I want to see if I can unzip the contents of this zip file. Uh, there's some type of password. Let's see if it's no password. Okay, it's of course it's not no password. Um, we'll try BTLO. B-T-L-O for Blue Team Labs Online. Password incorrect. All right, I'm not going to mess with that. We do, however, have a PCAP file. Nice. If you've seen my videos, you know that I personally like um, incident response and digital forensics. I like it so much that me and a team, we wrote Purple Shark, which is a PCAP analyzer. So I'm going to use that to analyze this PCAP. I know Purple Shark's in my home directory, so I'll call it from my home directory, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run Purple Shark, and we're going to use it to analyze this PCAP file. So I'll hit yes, and we're actually going to travel to where the PCAP file is at, and here we can double-click it, or you can hit OK, and as you can see, have patience, young grasshopper. I am analyzing your PCAP. Nice. So it's doing its thing. I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, cool. So Purple Shark is done. PCAP scan complete. All output is in the purple directory. Thanks for using Purple Shark. Note, if a directory slash file is empty, the program did not find the information. Okay. So it found it made seven directories, and it there's eight files from this PCAP. So immediately I want to see objects. And see what this object is. Um, how do I open file? Okay. 
I'm not sure what that is. We could actually cat it if you go into the purple directory and you go into the objects directory and we're going to actually cat that object. It says use your own password. All right, let's see what some credentials are in here. Cat logins. Oh, I got to be in purple. Cat purple slash logins slash credentials. See if there's any passwords or usernames. It looks like there is a username in here. Fake blue. Okay, now I'm pretty interested. Um, Purple Shark didn't find enough information for us, and that's fine. I still love Purple Shark, but I'm going to use Wireshark now. So I'll clear my screen, and we'll start Wireshark up on the Insider PCAP. All right. And it looks like Wireshark has actually started now. I'm actually going to go back to Blue Team Labs Online, see what the first question is. What is the response message obtained from the PCAP file? Okay, so the response message as a string, uh, this is that get request. So this is that actual message. I'm going to follow the TCP stream. And okay, so here's the message. Use your own password. Looks like this is something in the clear here. So I'm thinking that this is the response message. Use your own password. I'm going to take this back to Blue Team Labs Online. And cross your fingers. Let's see if this is correct. Hey, nice. Okay, cool. Get that blue flag on the screen. Victory flag. All right. The next question. What is the password of the zip file? We're going to input a password string. We couldn't figure this out earlier, but now we have a PCAP file. So I saw this earlier. We, I see a base64 encoded string here inside of this, this, uh, this PCAP packet. So I'm going to copy this base64 encoded string, and I'm going to take it to command line, and we're going to decode it. So I'm going to echo that string, okay? And then we're going to pipe that output to base64 command with a dash D flag. And all right, so here's, we actually saw this credential earlier when we were looking through purple shark. So fake blue, uh, the password though seems to be red fever. So red fever, this is probably the password for that, uh, for the zip file. So let's see, we'll ls and look for the zip file. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Unzip file.zip. Okay, and it's asking for a password. So let's put in that password from right up here. Red forever. So let's see if this works. Hey, nice. Okay, so we're in the zip file. So it gave us a picture, a, J, uh, a JPEG file image and a readme.txt. So let's go ahead and clear the screen, or let's make sure we actually got it first. Um, I realize you guys can't see, so I'll clear the screen. And we'll actually look. Nice. So here's our picture. And here's our readme.txt. So I'm going to cat the readme.txt. See what that says. Sheba Dog has everything you need and decided that no more passwords will be needed. Okay, and this picture though, let's let's look at the picture. So I'm gonna open up this space or this directory. Blue team, oh goodness. Blue team labs online. We'll open up the Shiba directory. This virtual machine's kind of finicky. So oh nice. It's just a picture of a Shiba dog. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. We'll mess around with that picture later. But for now, let's go back to Blue Team Labs Online and answer a question. So what is the password of the zip file? We know that we saw that earlier in the PCAP file. It was red forever. 
Hey, blue flag. Get the blue flag on the screen. That's another victory. Will more passwords be required? Oh, actually, that remember that readme.txt? Um, we'll actually go back so I can show you. But yeah, we're already catted it. So Shiba, Do Shiba Dog has everything you need and decided that no more passwords will be needed. So, okay, so we'll say no. Hey, nice, nice. Blue flag, blue flag. All right, another, another question bites the dust. Next question. What is the name of a widely used tool that can be used to obtain file information? So I know that the answer to this will be Xfill tool. Um, What's well, actually uh, Xif tool. That's how you pronounce it, Xif tool, because I've used this in another one of my videos before. Um, but Xif, Xif tool just helps you gather metadata inside of like files and uh, uh, like I've used it specifically on image files. So let's go ahead and use it on the Shiva dog picture. So XF tool, Shiva on the SS dog one JPEG. Nice. Okay. So, okay. So it looks like we've got some information here too. Technique steganography. Nice. So it's telling us there's something hidden inside of here. Technique command was steg hide. All right. Um, let's see if there's any like passwords or something cool. Sometimes the command steg hide, if you want to ex extract stuff, it makes you use a password or a passphrase to extract. So I don't see any passwords in here or passphrases. Let's go back to Blue Team Labs Online and answer this question. What is the name of a widely used tool that can be used to obtain file information? I know the answer is exif tool. Hey, nice. Okay, so let's scroll down. What is the name and value of the interesting information obtained from the image file metadata? <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to drink some water. So here's our format. There's a semicolon. Oh, no, excuse me. There's a full-on colon in between there. So I remember in the EXIF tool, there's columns in between the data and the actual like uh, header. So let's see. There's technique command, stake hide, technique. So the first part of the format looked smaller. So I think it's technique steganography. Yeah. So it's, this is it. Let's see if we can just paste this in here. Ah, no, we got some deleting to do, of course. We'll get rid of that. All right, so here's our answer, technique steganography. Hey, nice, okay, so based on the answer from the previous question, what tool needs to be used to retrieve the information hidden in the file. So I know this answer is steg hide. We're going to use the tool steg hide because it can extract um, data from pictures or hidden data. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to go back to the command line. Okay. And I'll clear the screen. So well, LS and I have this JPEG here, but I'm going to use something called steg hide. Here's our command steg hide extract dash SF on our dog picture, our JPEG picture. And we'll hit enter. And uh, the passphrase I'll try. I don't, is there, let's try red forever. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we'll try one more. You know, I'm going to try it without any password at all. See if we get lucky. And we did. Nice. I wrote extracted data to ID insider.txt. So I'm going to clear the screen so we can see. And it looks like we have this ID insider.txt. So I'm going to cat ID insider.txt and see what that's all about. So there's some type of ID in here. Let's go ahead and copy this and go back to Blue Team Labs Online. 
So based on the answer from the previous question, what tool needs to be used to retrieve the information? So we know that that's steg hide. We just did that. Hey, blue flag, blue flag, victory. So and now enter the ID retrieved. So that ID we just found, we'll submit that. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Let me see the blue flag again. Might as well just kept it on the screen. Um, and the last question, I'll move my big head real fast. Okay, so I'm over here now. What is the profile name of the attacker? So this one is pretty tricky. I was trying to figure this out a little bit. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what my thinking was. At first, I thought it was fake blue because that's the, you know, that's the username that we found. Purple Shock actually found it as a credential, and that's actually the wrong answer. So I went online, and if we actually take this ID, we'll copy it, and I have, I've unblocked the top of my screen because I need to show you guys something. We'll take this ID, and we'll take it to Blue Team Labs Online, a separate screen, and we all have user IDs on this website. So if we just go to slash user, the user directory, and then put in that user, uh, that user ID, it's actually a user on this website. His name is, or their name is Blue Tiger. So we'll type that in. What is the profile name of the attacker? It's not fake blue. It's actually Blue Tiger. So we'll hit enter. Hey, we finished it. We finished it. We only needed help with one problem. Nice. Thank you, guys. That was an awesome room. We got to learn a little bit about some beginner steganography. People can actually hide data inside of files. And, you know, that's a huge premise if you think about malware. That's the actual, you know, that's the, one of the biggest problems with malware. You're able to hide data inside of files. And sometimes you might even be able to make that data executable. But... At this time, I want to thank you for watching and learning with me, especially my subscribers. If you have not subscribed, smash that subscribe button because you're doing yourself a, a, a favor there because we're going to keep on learning. And also hit that like button so you'll see more of my videos and everybody else can learn with you. And as always, thank you for learning.